Alrighty, what is going on, dudes? Members of the team, and welcome back to Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Uh, this will be the last episode for a while until I like complete the game and unlock more epilogue content. But today we're going to be doing the extra mode um, where we, or the, excuse me, the extra story where we're going to do the beach episode. So pretty cool stuff. Um, it mentioned the cenotaph when I actually loaded in because I, uh, I think I loaded the save before I saved and quit. But not, it's not really that big a deal. Renown. What? <laughs> Alright, so there's a lot I gotta do. I wanna really quick... I just wanna level up my units. Alright, everyone's been mastered. You've all grown so strong. At this point, Squad E is the most elite force in the Federation. I have nothing but pride as your instructor. This operation is now riding on your shoulders. Whether we win or lose is up to you. Well, we've already won. Our fate is in your capable hands, Captain. Please lead us to victory. I'll be watching to see what you do with that strength. I hope I can be there when you use it to crush the Empire. Use her now to unlock and expand certain functions. Is this your first time here? Welcome to the infirmary. Well, it is the first time here because it hasn't unlocked until I beat the game. Well, we're actually equipped to help with more than just medical affairs. We can provide all kinds of support here. Just remember that we're here to help you, in and out of combat. Okay. Use your renown to unlock different capabilities. The higher your score in battle, the more renown you'll earn. Get higher scores to enable new functions. Oh. <laughs> Allows you to view the interlude. <laughs> um, well, maybe we'll do that in this episode too. All right, we're gonna unlock that. I want to check that out. That could be interesting. <gasps> okay, I'll spend my, I'll spend some on that. I like it. Now I want to check out the cenotaph. It's so quiet here. I told myself this would happen. I thought I was ready. I guess you can't know how it feels until you actually lose someone. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'll never forget what it was like to fight at your side. Yeah. Names of your fallen comrades will be etched into the cenotaph. Um, paying a designated amount of DCT lets you recollect your memories of the fallen to resurrect them. Oh. Interesting. I can revive Crystal? <laughs> Oh, 50,000. I want to, but I don't have the, the funds. So I'm going to do that. We're going to do that at the very end. New page has been added. Interlude. Steamy ceasefire. All right, here we are. Squad to the beach. Supply route skirmish. September 1935. After a narrow victory at the Ziegfeld Line, the military is restructuring the army to account for its losses. And Squad E's been given special orders. Sounds like they're not out there anymore. I guess they must have retreated. <laughs> Figured the imps were a bunch of pansies. One look at me and they run for the hills. It's kind of weird, though. What is? Remember what Command said? Wasn't this some critical supply line for the Empire? Yeah, since this road leads to the ocean. Intelligence said it was a new transport route by sea. That's why they rushed our deployment. And yet, those soldiers... That squad earlier, none of them really put up much of a fight before retreating. Yeah, and I got the sense their morale wasn't the highest either. That's just because we kicked their ass at the Ziegfall line, don't you think? Maybe. I hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. What are you standing around for? If you have time to chat, you have time to move. All right, all right. Why are we stuck with Squad F's commander again? This is textbook, soldier. While we wait for supplies, we have to weaken the enemy as much as possible. Squad E was assigned to this mission. 
but many of your soldiers are unreliable at best. Bullshit. So I was given approval to join you as a strategist and chaperone. No objections. Now march! Fine. You're the boss, Lieutenant. Anyway, let's head for the coast. The logistics base we're looking for should be there. So all we gotta do is shut them down. Okay, let's go. All right. Hey, you smell that sea air? And I can hear waves. We gotta be close now. The enemy's logistics base should be around here. Be careful. Hmm? Over there. What? This oh. is Sorry. amazing! There's a whole friggin' resort over here! A blue sea? White sand? I've only ever seen this in books. This place seems way too conspicuous for an enemy base. Wait, Imperial soldiers! Everyone, race for combat! Leave it to us! Let's stop them! Yes, indeed. There's always gonna be battles, so... Uh, we'll, we'll cut it out. It's not important. Oh my god, I only get three turns. <laughs> okay, well... Uh, guess whose job it is to capture the base? I wonder... I'll handle Might this. it be the Power Scouts? Are we ready? Eliminate the enemy! Squad E, move out! The morale's low. Let's take him down. Move out! Drive the Imperials back! And we're done. <laughs> I just moved the power scouts and they took they took out the two enemies in the base and we got it. That simple. That's literally how every single one of the skirmishes went too. First A rank plus A rank bonus plus. Okay. Alright. Take down all the aces to unlock a new episode. Oh. I know I see when I see one. Here I go. Here we go. It missed. Fall back. Oh, the enemy dropped some of their gear. Are these clothes? Maybe it could give us some clues to what they're doing out here. We should confiscate it. Pretty good. Achievement unlocked. Ace killer. Kill 15 enemy aces. Nice. Okay, I only found one ace. Um, so does that count? Did I do it? <laughs> Piece of cake! They could barely hold on to their own equipment. Are all Imperials this incompetent? I've never seen anything like this in the Federation. It might give us some new intel on the Imperial Army. We should inspect it carefully. It's probably because it was on easy difficulty that there's only one ace. Yep. Alright. That was probably it. That's not it. That's not the end of the... the th what the fuck is happening here, dude? Yes, there is more than one ace. And I missed them. I also just realized I haven't been recording on my camera. So that stinks. I'm a Federation officer. There he I is. I will not fall here. I have you! Found another one. He just he's gone. Is that some kind of shirt? It's certainly gaudy. Entirely unfit for the battlefield. Let's take it with us. Go for it, Raz. Why not? Could be useful. Don't worry, I'm on it. All right, third ace is down. Huh. Looks 
like the enemy dropped some gear. Is this... the bandana or something? Well, I'll hold on to it just in case. I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about that one. I'm a Federation oh, officer. The enemy is firing I will back. not fall here! Found the last ace. Huh? Look at this idiot! He dropped his gear! That could give us some insight on what routes they're moving through. Let's take it. <laughs> How was that? For the kill! Yeah. Alright, took me two this turns this time around in order to get all of the aces, but it's okay. We did it this time. Just take it nice and easy. I've already beat it. Alright, now we have all of these. So let's start out with uh, something drab. Is that? A men's bathing suit, I believe. Want to try it on, Raz? <laughs> no chance. If I wanted to run around the wilderness in my shorts, I'd take the ranger course again. How about you, Claude? I think it'd suit you. What? Why should I have to wear a bathing suit? Isn't it obvious? We're at the beach! That's not an answer! Okay... There. Happy now? Uh, whoa. You're more toned than I thought. Huh. Not half bad. Damn it. I would have looked way hotter, you know. Oh, really? I don't know if you can top that. It... yeah. Claude's better than I thought. Alright, we're doing this. Give me one of those. I'll show you what a real man looks like. Um, can I take this off yet? So, should I do Raz's next then? Because, un technically, his is last. <laughs> the title of Raz's. Alright. Alright, something cute. Hey, Claude, see that? I'd know that shape anywhere. You thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, oh, this is a bikini. Cool. Why are you blushing, Claude? <laughs> Whoa, you're turning red. Want to share your thoughts with the class, Mr. Valedictorian? Here, one to talk. You can't keep your eyes off it. Great, but it's like Claude's blushing and it's just a swimsuit. It's okay. Hey, can you blame me? Men dream about this kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Say, uh, Kai. No. Agreed. I'll pass. Any respectable soldier would never be caught wearing something so frivolous. Hmm. Well, I'm technically not a soldier, so I might as well take it. You're actually gonna wear that? Why not? I mean, it's kind of revealing, isn't it? A bathing suit is sportswear. If you want to get all worked up over it, that's your problem. Come on, look at this beautiful beach. We can't pass up this chance, can we? Um... Now that's settled, hold on while I get changed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. So, what do you think? Whoa. Whoa, nice! You could be in magazines. I, I mean, you know, the good kind. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I don't remember what happened in the original of that character. How about it, Claude? Nothing you want to add? It's like, uh... I don't remember if they had their swimsuits on them, or if it was a similar sort of scenario where they defeated... We defeated the, um, the Empire and they just happened to drop swimsuits that fit the characters, you know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, wow, it's just really clear now. <sighs> Can't you take your eyes off the weather for one second? Get your head out of the clouds for once. Come on! The only thing clear is 
like that you never change. <laughs> What's clear is that you're as beautiful as ever. It's still weird that that that's that effect that they they put on the on the inner thoughts in this game. It's it doesn't really fit. But anyway, something sporty. This is a women's racing swimsuit. Admirably practical and modest too. A bit too small for me though. Nope, nope, nope. I give it a zero. Not sexy. I'm not into it. Well, you don't have to wear it. But I think I will. Huh? H hey, uh, if we keep looking, we could probably find one that's a little more flirty or... No, I want this one. I'm not interested in playing at the beach. I'd rather just swim. Give me a minute. I'll get changed. Oh, man. <laughs> this doesn't feel too bad. What do you think? It's okay, right? Yeah, it's super cute. The simple designs really work for you. This kind of swimsuit is a lot easier for me to look at, too. <laughs> uh. Just say it, Raz. I know you're thinking it. Oh, well, you, uh... What? You have... An incredible ass. <laughs> what? I. Oh! You. You slime ball! Is that what you were staring at? <laughs> hey, go easy! I was trying to give you a compliment! Oh, alright. Now, Rez. Something douchey. bad feeling about this. I feel gross for just touching it. What you got? It's a men's swimsuit, but I don't think we can use this. Really? It's summery and the design isn't that bad. No way. It's so... douchey. Any man wearing this deserves nothing but scorn. Do they expect women to be impressed? What the fuck is wrong with y'all? It's a goddamn swimsuit! <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, my. What? That's so freaking cool! Now that's a swimsuit! <sighs> you would like those. Are you that desperate? It's a fucking pair of swimsuits. The swimsuits? Swim trunks. Bruh! N no! Look, we're at the beach, so I'm allowed to have a little fun, right? Well, I won't stop you. Go ahead. Wear your douchey swimsuit. Hit on whoever you want. Look, I'm telling you. Ah, whatever. I'm just gonna get changed. I knew it. <laughs> it's perfect. It's Man, fine. check me out. Now that's style, right? How do you like me now, Kai? <laughs> Looking good, Raz. Hey! What? Come on, at least say something! What a douchebag. Huh? Sorry, didn't catch that. Get away from me. I don't want people to think I know you. If you really want to be a sleazy pickup artist, go do it somewhere else. What? Kai, wait! Whoa, are you blushing? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. More stuff? Good. Let's see what Minerva says. Beach resort! So... there was supposed to be a base here? I know there were some luxury rooms over that way, but... After they deployed so many soldiers to defend it, I didn't expect this to be some kind of resort. So it's just a private Imperial beach? Were these guys even taking this war seriously? I guess that explains why that other squad's morale was so low. Yeah, they were stuck guarding a route just so their bosses could go on vacation. So we've been out swimming in mud, and the Imperial Army's been watching us from their beach chairs? Man, I can't believe this crap! Hey, it's not all bad. 
It's thanks to them we got to have a break ourselves. Well, if there's no base, there's no infiltration. We should probably get back. Hmm. Yeah! Oh, that's gold! Riley, what are you... You seriously want us to leave this gorgeous beach before we've even had any fun? We can't afford to. We have no idea when enemy forces might catch up with us. Sounds to me like you gotta loosen up, man. Okay, come on! Huh? Wait, Raz, let go of me! Ah! Hey, whoa! When are we gonna see a beach again? Let's live it up a little! <laughs> I can't just leave this place behind already. Chances like this don't come by every day. We might as well enjoy it. Why don't you join us, Minerva? <laughs> and abandon the mission for the sake of this childish cavorting? I think not. Besides which, I could never show so much skin in public. I have my family's reputation to think of. In public. Everyone else is wearing bathing suits. You really don't have to be shy. Well, you're welcome to join us when you feel like it. The ocean isn't going anywhere. Hmm. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Undisciplined simpletons, all of them. Maybe Minerva just doesn't like the ocean. Huh? They caught up to us! Out of the water, everyone! We have to fight back! Don't tell me I have to do another fight. Bruh! Bathing suits and bullets. I'll brief you on the mission. <sighs> Stop the enemy's advance! Squad E, move out! All right. Damn it! Now they gotta interrupt my vacation too? Don't have time to get changed. Kai, Riley, fall back! What are you talking about? We're fighting too! They think they can shoot me down? Just try it. <laughs> we have no choice. We're not dressed for it, but move to intercept. Huh. Alright, took out the ace. Which will get a suit for Minerva, waiting? apparently. Hey, they're still dropping their equipment. Is this a swimsuit? It's a little, uh... This is barely a scrap of fabric. What a disgraceful lack of modesty. No upright Federation soldier should have to see this. I will dispose of it personally. Okay. And Alicia grabs the base. One step ahead. Very cool. signs of any more enemies area secure <laughs> that's not true at all i barely killed anybody dude oh yeah no more distractions beach time raz this is still imperial territory we should really make a formal retreat oh loosen up claude you can afford to have a little summer vacation right let's have some fun All right. Yeah, A rank was within three turns, so. Cool. All right, squad E's beach day. Oh, there is an actual cutscene. Okay. Fuck is that pose? Ready when you are. One more thing. You remember the bet, right? I do. Whosoever is last to the island shall give up a prized possession. Now let's both take the time to... Ready, set, go! Uh, you wait, you filthy cheater! Uh, uh, <laughs> too, Riley. <laughs> Not if I win. <laughs> Looks 
like this, you are having some fun. Yeah. I was thinking, maybe we could have some fun too? What are you talking about? I'm just having oodles of fun. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I, uh, I apologize for grabbing your butt. It's just... Well, you know how it is, girl. You see that masterpiece of an ass and you just gotta... If that's your idea of an apology, then you really need some more practice. Huh? <sighs> uh, huh. I'm gonna go for a dip. It's my first time at the beach. I may as well enjoy huh? it. Wait! Kai! Kai! Uh, hey! Come on! Anyone? Get me out of the sand! <sighs> Night, not Minerva. You... You got it. You got this. Rock it. Oh, I thought I was gonna die out there. If you go grabbing people's butts, that's what you get. So, what did we learn today? Yeah, yeah. Ask the cutie before I touch the booty. <laughs> but man, I didn't know you couldn't swim. <laughs> you know, if you let me come with you, I could have shown you how it's done. I, I don't need a horn dog like you to teach me anything. Come on, you two. You can argue all you want later. The sun's going down. We need to rendezvous with our main forces. What? I barely got in the water at all. We can always come back again sometime. Yeah, the ocean isn't going anywhere. Maybe next summer, once the fighting's over. Let's all come back together. <laughs> Some rain check. I'll have to wait until the whole damn war's over. Oh well, let's get moving. Come on, Riley. We should go, too. Wait. What? We had a bet, right? You know, where the winner gets... The loser's most prized possession? Listen, you really don't have to. A bet's a bet. Which one do you want? The pendant I bought with my first paycheck, or a hand-knit lace handkerchief? You can keep them. I already got what I wanted. Huh? What do you mean? I got a memory to hang on to. You were cute in the swimsuit, but I'm just happy we had fun together. I fucking love you, Claude, dude. <laughs> the best. How do you keep saying this cheesy stuff with a totally straight face? Because he means it. Hey, Claude, we're gonna leave you behind. Sorry, I'm coming. Come on, Riley. Okay. All right, swimsuit outfit outfits have been locked for our guys. So meeting certain, I already did actually, uh, which is defeating the ace. So I did that. As I went out of my way to do that, the Rosetta. Oh yeah, where'd Minerva go? Huh? Now that you mention it, I don't see her around. She probably went back to the tank already. Let's go. Wait, is someone there? <laughs> Minerva. What's taking so? Hey guys, I yes, so huge! <laughs> Oh my god, Raz. <laughs> oh That's my god. The bathing suit you said you were going to get rid of. Yeah! Uh, what was that about your reputation? Well, wow. That takes guts. <laughs> no, I. Th this isn't. Sorry, Minerva. I should have noticed earlier. What? You wanted to have fun too, right? But we just left you behind, and... What? 
No, I just... Okay, let's stay here a little longer. We're going back for one last swim with Minerva. All right, now we're talking. Wait, Claude, it it's all a misunderstanding. <laughs> just go with it. Oh, you can't swim? I guess we're in the same boat. We should practice together. <laughs> oh hey, my god. What are you, you will release me this instant! <laughs> Alright, yep. And I've seen decal of hibiscus. Very cool. Alright, I wanna check out that uh that other thing we got, the other interlude. I wanna do this at some point, the two Valkyria. Because this is Silvaria. This was the like main Valkyria we fought in Valkyria Chronicles 1. That's obviously Crimea. So we'll do that at some other point. I'll come back to it. Holy shit! Wait, it's called a steamy. What? A good. But it was after the Crystal Sea. What? A good, good boy. Easy, Rags. It's not even meal time. Oh, wait. It's later than I thought. That's odd. It's been hours since Claude left on recon. He and the others should have been back a long time ago. <sighs> you worried too, boy? The lizard's getting pretty bad. I hope they're okay. All right, waiting. Try again, Marie. Any word from Claude? Nothing. The storm brought all communications down. I knew reconnaissance in this weather was a bad idea. But we couldn't ignore that report. If there's even a chance the enemy is planning an ambush, we really have no choice but to confirm. In these temperatures, even the antifreeze will freeze over. I'm afraid I can't order a search party. If they don't return soon, we'll have to depart without them. No. How long will this damn blizzard last? You'd better get back here alive, Claude. All right, frozen front line. <laughs> Keep it together. We stop now and we're all dead. N don't worry. I'm well aware of that. Oh, the fact that everyone's here, it's 100% we're gonna have to have a battle. Damn it. Damn it. Snow's coming down so hard, every step is like sinking in quicksand. <sighs> Not to mention these winds. Just trying to stand straight is like fighting against a tide. It's do or die, everyone. Just a little further. We won't make it much longer. This blizzard's got a couple hours left in it. We have to find cover, or else... Claude! <sighs> Enemy soldiers! Twelve o'clock! Are those the imps laying an ambush for us? No. Judging from the rank and file, they're probably a recon team like us. I'd rather not engage in these conditions, but... Whoa! Guess we don't have much choice. Cool. Not really, but temporary truce. Oh, well, maybe. This is pointless. My shots won't reach them. <laughs> so much for dead eye Kai. And my grenades are frozen stuck. I can't fire anything. Stay calm. The enemy's just as handicapped as we are. I don't think either side can engage, to be honest. Uh, kind of late to get cold feet. Besides, they're just grunts. Leave it to the Invincible Raz! Wait! Can't miss it point blank! Eat lead! Huh? Hey, what the... <laughs> Get a load of this filthy Darkson! His barrel's frozen over! The dumbass! Well, well. Seems Federation gear can't handle the cold. 
Raz, retreat! <laughs> Too late! You're dead! Huh? Uh, looks like our guns froze over too. <laughs> Goddamn piece of scrap metal! Ah! Holy crap! He just threw that machine gun one-handed! Those things weigh a ton! Yeah, so what? I've got a heavy machine gun! You think the men of the North will lose to a bunch of pansies who prance around with girls? Those girls who are about as ten times as badass as you? So what if I'm female, you knuckle-dragging grunt? I am a lieutenant, and more woman than you can handle! True that. If you don't like me looking down on you, then first you'll have to prove you're stronger than me! Wouldn't be hard if we actually got to fight. Crap! We're out of stuff to throw! Then we go for close quarters combat! Oh yeah? Put up your dukes! Come on, now they're throwing punches. Give me a break. That's enough, all of you! Huh? Everyone stop it! What? It was just getting to the good part. I take it you're in command here? Yes. Looks like we both got lost scouting the area. Yeah. We're in a real jam, truth be told. The weapons don't work, as you can see, and our winter gear won't last. We were just looking for a place to wait out the blizzard ourselves. Now, we're completely lost. We both need all the help we can get. Agreed. Let's call a ceasefire for now. Okay. Personal warmth. <laughs> it's so cold. I can barely shiver. Good. The moment you stop shivering, you die. Stay moving to keep your body heat up. <sighs> I don't need advice from the likes of you. And don't walk over the fresh fallen snow. Step in our tracks to make it easier on you. Be stubborn. It's life or death here. F fine. I get our guns crapping out, but shouldn't yours be built for this kind of thing? Look, this is way colder than a normal Imperial winter. And even if our gear worked, we couldn't hit the broadside of a bunker in this blizzard. Excuses, excuses. At least the part about missing is true. <laughs> you couldn't fire a single shot, you filthy dachshund. And who's the bozo who couldn't shoot at Darkson? I envy those clowns. Do they ever run out of steam? How dare he fraternize with the enemy? Emergency or no, the sight of it makes me sick. Does that look like fraternizing to you? What else would you call it? Mm hmm. So this is the real Winter Witch. Yes. I'm surprised you've heard that old folktale. Blizzard's so cold, our ancestors called it black magic. Pretty terrifying when you think about it. Yeah, and there's two hours to go. How can you tell? Call it a hunch. I've got a knack for picking up changes in the weather. But if we hadn't come across you, we'd be dead in the snow. The Winter Witch's latest victims. Just having extra bodies to block the wind is a lifesaver. And by the looks of it, your men took the windward side. I appreciate that. No thanks needed. Chivalry isn't completely dead. I have to say, I'm glad our weapons malfunctioned. And we were this close to outright killing each other. We may have lost our bread and salt, but at least we have our vodka. Huh? Old Imperial saying, like you say in the West, every cloud has a silver lining. Feels strange breaking bread. Moments ago, we were staring down each other's barrels. Guess I'll have to count my blessings. Hmm? The blizzard should be dying down soon. There's one more blessing to count. Alright, I hope we don't actually have to fight them now, the, the blizzard. But the telltale heat. Oh, the blizzard's died down, but I'm still freezing my balls off. 
Surrounded by so much white, it's hard to tell if we're even moving forward. Huh? Hey, Claude. Why doesn't that area have any snow? Huh, you're right. Those rocks over there aren't covered at all. Oh, could it be? Hmm, huh. what's the matter? I need help over here. Come on, gather round. So, Claude, what's so special about these rocks? Well, they're obviously hot. Can't you tell? The snow is being melted from beneath. Ah, of course. And that means... Do you have any explosives? We have grenades, but the pins are frozen stuck. Let me see them. But, sir, we need them in case of an emergency. That's what this is, and it wasn't a question. Hand them over. Uh... Yes, sir. Squaddy, take out all the grenades and explosives you have. Riley, set them up to make as big a blast as possible. Um, Claude? An explosion won't keep us warm for long. If we want to fire, we need fuel first. Don't worry. Center it on the crevice over there. Please, trust me on this. I mean, Riley, you're not stupid. You should actually see where he's going with this. I don't get what you're going for, but if you insist... Clearly it's geothermal, so you break it open and all the heat comes out. Oh, <gasps> And then it's warm! I'll wave my magic wand and grant your wish. Alright, I'm gonna ignite it. Take cover! How could she be a scientist and not get that? Is that... a hot spring? This geothermal groundwater melting the snow. Amazing! How oh, the temperature's perfect! <laughs> yes! Take that, Winter Witch! We're gonna make it! Oh, hell yeah. Without further ado, I'll take first dibs and... Hold it. Huh? Ladies first. Do you really expect me to just sit here and wait? What's wrong with you Federation soldiers? Where's your manners, man? <laughs> this guy couldn't get a girl if his life depended on it. Bit hypocritical, I will say. No objections here. Women first. Goddamn imps! We'll take you up on that offer. If you'll excuse us, then. It's also the same people who are saying that the girls ain't worth, you know, scratch or whatever. Hell hath no fury. Freeze! So long as I draw breath, none shall peek. Minerva, aren't you gonna join him? I'm standing watch. Can't drop our guards around these Imperials after all. Ah, oh, don't get your panties in a bunch. You wish we were that desperate to see your tits defrosting. <laughs> Cut back to like 10 minutes earlier. Hey guys, I uh, yes, so huge. <laughs> Excuse me? So, uh are all Federation women like this? <laughs> I'd say they're exceptions to the rule. Boy, are they aggressive. Ladies first, my ass. Seriously, they're rougher and tougher than any man I know. But let me tell you, gals back in the motherland. Modesty is actually a virtue for them. Always there for her man, but never overstepping her bounds. Now that's a girl worth fighting for. <laughs> Shopless <Chauvinist> pigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you call us? You're so hung up on your Madonna whore complex, you don't even care that your government is oppressing all its people. Quiet, you harlot! The Empire's traditional values are what keep it prospering. Unlike you Federation degenerates. Values? Is that what you call violence and oppression? <laughs> oh, that's rich coming from a Fed. Or are you too busy painting your nails to see what's going on in your own colonies? Come again? Need I remind you who started this war in the first place? 
It's that murderous tyrant you call an emperor. And here you are trying to lecture me. <laughs> You're beyond help. Oh, would you shut up already? Women shouldn't butt their pretty little heads into politics to begin with. Oh, okay, you're you're actually upsetting me a little bit with that. What? Just a little bit. Not just a little bit. This is what happens when females are allowed on the battlefield. They kick your ass, you're right. That's right. A woman's place is at home, a man's at war. <laughs> so get back to the kitchen and make us a sandwich. <laughs> All right, now I guess I do hope we get to kill him. All right, now listen here. If you think I'm gonna sit quietly while you spew that kind of filth, you're insane. You pigs, how dare you slander womankind? Riley, are you crazy? And why aren't you two leaping in to defend us? Just sitting on your thumbs while they insult us, and you, and... For the love of God, Riley, put something on! You're... you're indecent! <laughs> you close your eyes right now, stupid clod! Brad, look away, you uh, pervert! Uh, uh, I... and you just stopped uh, her? You're the one standing there with your tits hanging out! <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well then. Sure, final final bit. Snowbound farewell. Like, dude, looks okay. like the blizzard's over. All right, like I get the whole the, the feder federation or not the federation, the freaking stupid dumb empires are all d being the d dicks to the the women and all that. But then they do something stupid and make Riley make a fool of herself. And it's like, that doesn't drive home the message that the Empire is wrong. So I don't like that. I don't like that they decided to do that. Ugh. It would have made more sense for Minerva to be screaming and yelling, rather than Riley. Like you said, two hours on the dot. Impressive. Communications are back up. We're gonna hunker down and wait for evac. We'll be gone by then. I'd rather not have to shoot you. Huh. Never expected you feds could be so... fun. Not to mention, that was one hell of a view. <laughs> <laughs> well, until we meet again. Next time, it'll be on the battlefield. Hey, you. Yeah? That rifle. Uh, you a sniper? I assume you are, too. I may not look it, but they call me Deadeye. Quite a firearm there. I've never seen camel like that. Thanks. My wife designed it for me. I see. Just like she was supposed to, huh? The virtue of a modest female? I love her. And I'd like to think she did it because she loves me. <laughs> I guess we're both fighting for someone we love. Can't save everyone. All we can do is hold on to the one thing that matters most and protect it with our lives. That's why we have no choice but to fight. <laughs> My commander told me that one. The one thing that matters most, huh? So if our paths ever cross again, may the best sniper win. Right back at you. See you on the field, Deadeye. You too. Godspeed, friend. All right. Very cool. Under a new sub episode has been added under the Northern Lights. Wait for is that? Hold on. Okay. Here uh, it's here and waiting for springtime. Say, Riley, you want to go up on the deck with me? Up top? The sun's already gone down. Won't it be cold? Yeah, that's why it's perfect timing. Come on. Wow. 
This is amazing. Isn't this... That's right. It's an aurora. This is the first time I've ever seen one. I heard they're super rare. Even this far north. Don't tell me the aurora talks to you too. You basically have to get lucky to catch one of these. But there weren't any clouds today, and the sky's dark with the new moon out. All the conditions were right, so... So you did predict it. It's incredible. I never thought I'd live to see something like this. This is the first time for me, too. I guess we both got really lucky. Yeah. We've seen all kinds of miracles and good fortune out here. And losses. And bad luck, too. But we made it this far. We got through all that. This is kind of familiar, huh? Like after the Star Child Festival, when we'd all look up at the night sky, together. Yeah. After you left Hoffen, the sky was all I saw for a long time. I made it out here, so... I must have turned my life around somehow. But sometimes... I wonder if I've really changed. <laughs> I forgive you. What? I think you have. Changed, I mean. And if it's coming from me, you know it's gotta be true. Right? Yeah. You're right. So, I forgive you. Okay? Thank you, Riley. B but you're not off the hook yet. Once this war's over, you're going to help me start up my family's factory again. Of course. <laughs> With pleasure. You sure you're excited about it? You got a whole lifetime of hard work ahead of you, mister. A lifetime? Yep. You'll be working for me until you're an old grandpa. Well, I... If that's what you want, then I'd be happy to. Huh? <laughs> Cute. Well, I... I didn't mean anything weird by that. So... Uh, wow, it's really chilly. We should totally head inside. <laughs> Stay a little longer. It's almost ready. I promise you're gonna love it. Predict all this too? I learned to see a lot in the sky. My sorrow didn't give me much, but I did get this. It's not bad as far as presents go, right? Yeah. I swear, we will live to see Hoffman again. We will. Together. Yeah. Together. I fucking love this game, dude. I really, really do. Alright, a new mission has been added to chapter 18. Pudge a vow is or pudge a card to change an oral vow. Blah. Or as, as well. What does it mean? Hold on. I have no idea. It said it unlocked something. I'll have to review that in Post, maybe I have to get better rankings on the missions, which is totally possible. I was thinking it might it might have unlocked something that would go here or whatever. So, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you like, appreciated. Uh, we're gonna be there will likely be more, just because there is a decent amount more that can be filled in and whatever. And I love this game, and I'd love to see more content from it. So. We'll see how much I can unlock for like another episode later, but anyways, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, did like, appreciate it, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you all later.